So I called y'all to go over some findings I have. I don't know if you're aware, but mm. uh, part of what I do is every time a mayor leaves office, I request an audit of the state and mayoral accounts, and I look for any abnormalities, anything that I need to be concerned about going into the next mayoral uh, term. So uh, I did my normal routine thing. And uh, there's a couple items of concern. Uh, some of them date back to Lang Buddha's terms. Some of them with the current mayor. So I'll start with Lang Buddha. Okay. Um, I, listen, I ain't, you know, some forensic nerd or whatever. I assume mm. you got one of those. Yeah. But I'll just put it this way. If I take a look at the records sorted by transactions leaving uh, the state and the mayoral account. Yeah. I've got a ton of transactions that are just, you know, a business grant, and it's like $10 million. There's multiple of those. Wait, what? Uh, oh, yeah. He gave out like $10 million business grants. I don't know who the people are. I don't know how they were vetted. I heard nothing about it. Um, should you there's be? There's also... Is that well, is I, that part of it? I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I should or not. I just, you know, it's a lot right. of money. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Uh, what else? Uh, so there's a piece of legislation that came in um, under Mickey that yeah. says that mayors are allowed to purchase a helicopter and armored vehicles. Mm. Uh, so there's a transaction in there where uh, Mayor Lang Buddha uh, disperses $17.75 million for this armored vehicle. And it says right on it, purchase of armored vehicles problem is i don't think he ever turned that thing back into the state so i think he's just driving around a 17 million dollar armored car that the state paid for interesting right. uh, okay if the state paid for that crane you tell him uh he can either he can either either pay uh 17.5 million dollars uh to the state yeah or uh you can take the car okay um and so there's a there's a whole lot of disbursements that happen under his watch that you know it's just a lot of money and i'm not in the know of what who where all that but i figure someone in your department should probably look into it so okay. i'm going to get you all those records beautiful now, as to right. the uh current mayor no wait so, this is just the past one that was just buddha so for the current mayor um for hardcastle aka cohen uh i i really don't know if we're on corruption, embezzlement, or just maybe Abdul levels of stupidity, I don't know if you know how that impeachment went down, but uh, essentially... Uh, not too much. I know... Senator peripheral. W and I effectively uh, decided that he hadn't technically done anything corrupt, but his spending was so egregious and, and uncalculated you know, it, it's kind of like uh, when you are, are, are a government entity and you put out a bid for something like an RFP, right? And then you just like take the highest bidder who also happens to be your sister-in-law and you don't yeah. get a competitive bid and you don't try to save the state any money. It's kind of like that. So for one example, I found out today from other judges that uh, apparently uh, the mayor has purchased two G-Wagons for the doctors. Okay. Uh but Which they're is... both in his wife's name? No. But his wife is on the board of the hospital, but there's like a bunch of other board members that aren't his wife, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently also there's some bar or business that was uh, approved and granted funding called the something 42. This... It's like a cop bar after you guys. This feels like the end of a season shot. And uh, there was a grant given to the business of a million dollars to get it decorated and then that money was immediately paid to his wife and she was hired to do the decorating so this guy is just uh, using his position to pay for things for his wife so i don't you know i don't really know the full extent of what's going on but uh there's definitely some questions that need to be looked into oh uh and here's the best part now you're gonna love this yeah you know those uh g wagons that uh, Mayor <laughs> Cohen purchased and uh, put under his wife's name. Yeah. Uh, he bought one of them from a member of the criminal street <laughs> racing gang that uh, he was fired for helping assist. 
Uh, and get this, uh, the person who's writing the legislation in mm. his cabinet is the lawyer that he did the corruption with and got fired yes! from Yes! Oh my god! I, I had and heard now, about and that. Wait and... Now wait for it. Yeah. Now add on, uh, you remember that whole thing where they got mad at you for denying visitation? Yes. The only legislation he's pushed to me... Hold on, you're gonna love it. The name of the legislation is Respecting People's Grievances Act, aka the RPG Act. Uh. And all it deals with is uh, huh? all it deals with is protocols for how the UPD can control suspects in the hospital. It's probably above our pay grade, but you know, is also another reality. Is uh, you know what CIA is? No. CIA is like Cerberus Industries Armaments or something. Mm, okay. And they're the ones that, you know, contracted with the uh, CPD and the other departments when back when Cerberus was going to supply all the weaponry. Apparently, oh, they're the ones who yeah. make the missiles. So every okay. so often, uh, Buddha was taking $20 million dollars sending it to the mayoral account and then sending it from the mayoral account to his company's account because his company sells missiles to the government mm. so the PDUs and the jets okay um so there's a lot of shit like that i don't i'm not saying it's untoward i'm just saying there's a lot of high dollar transfers that somebody should probably look into yeah so let me ask um how so my understanding, and uh, let me know if this is accurate, is that financial crime has no, um, like, statute of limitation. So in other words, if a yeah, we're not we're not we're not applying statute of limitations to like government corruption or embezzlement. That's not feasible. You on board with that, Davis? That makes uh, sense. Got it, Waiting to get my call work on. I don't go. Uh, and there's stuff in there that I don't. I don't really know. Uh, there's st there's one that just says expense, and it's four point five million dollars. I don't know who that went to. Uh, there's a lot of budgets that I assume are like departments, maybe for PD. Uh, but then there's some stuff that I don't really know what it is. Like one says mayoral safe house purchase, and it's three point eight million dollars that ostensibly was used to purchase a safe house. Maybe when Blue one was just like under says attack. <laughs> one just says. Budget in all caps, laggy dog shit trash. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I'm uh I'm linking in the bank accounts as well, just so it's easier viewing. There's a thirteen million dollar state grant, there's four fifteen million, five fifteen million dollar state grants. Shit, this is like two hundred million dollars. There's an eighteen million and there's four twenties. So you okay. don't know. Sorry, this is like three hundred million dollars. So to summarize, uh, it looks, my understanding is that there's grants being given, expenditures that are exceptionally high that seem either A, unaccounted for, or B, appeared to be given to, let's call it personal beneficiaries. Is that the right term? What is Project Sinatra? Uh, that's the space pro uh, program. So the government funded all that? Maybe? Because it says state grant, and there's $200 million that went from the state account to the mail world account. And then if you look down below that, there's transfers from the mayoral account to the Project Sinatra account. So if your detectives are going to look into this shit, night, mm. prioritize the guy that's in office. I agree. Uh, okay. uh, after you're done looking Hello. into that guy, after you're done uh, figuring out mm. uh, how to impeach this guy that's uh, spending millions on his wife through the state account, yeah. look into uh, the former mayor. Mickey, Buddha, whatever the f his name is. Yeah. And uh, at the very least, <laughs> all of this large money, if you can get on record questioning him and his office, 
where a lot of this is going. Mm. Maybe it's legitimate, maybe it's not. And if it's on the up and up, then you can further look into to make sure that the funds are on the up and up to wherever they're going. Mm. Because if there's $300 million that are that's being moved on the last year's term, how much of that shit is actually getting used for the, the things it's supposed to get used for? Right. In other words, someone gets a $5 million grant. Well, where are the receipts? Exactly. So, uh, big picture here, right? Um, I think we're in agreement. I mean, real quick, the prime mm. example is this this guy getting a million dollar grant just to pay the mayor's wife. Like, that is a prime example of a grant mm. that is stupid. Agreed. It says per legislation. What's the legislation surrounding armored cars from Mickey Strum? I forget. There's a piece of legislation that says Mayoral Security Act. Mayor's office should be afforded the ability to utilize state funds to purchase and maintain vehicles for secure transport. Mayoral I mean, how do they think it? I, vehicles I, bro, this is so SUV hard to read, bro. Helicopter. Right, well. He's no longer in the mayor's office, is he? No, which is why I'm saying... Uh, well, Buddha isn't, so he should not have the armored cars. Yeah, the legislation Whoa. says that the mayor and the mayor, mayor security, the only people that can have armored cars, that anybody that isn't a part of the mayor's office that has an armored car should have it seized. Correct. That's my interpretation. But that means uh, PD can't have an armored car. Well, that's different because PD is a government entity that oh, is yeah. entrusted with police powers. Uh, that being so, though, if he position. if he purchased it with his own money, uh, you should probably a have a of what we yeah, do. you you should have a conversation with him. At that point, <laughs> uh, I mean, at that point, he should at least get his money back. Probably, yeah. It, like he, the state should at least pay him out for the car. Anybody outside of the government that has armored cars that you guys see, flag it up to Crane, and then we'll we'll seize those as well. Okay. Yeah. What deems something armored? Figured out with Crane. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the, you'll know. Trust me. Uh, I say that, but the mayor got assassinated in the last one. And uh, there are some vehicles that appear armored, but aren't really. But I'll, I'll send you, like, photos or whatever I think yeah. it might be. And then we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We got experts that can tell us. 